So I was up at uh, Port Hardy in the springtime and we were diving a place called Luke and Shoot and it's sort of uh, a narrow channel with a fair bit of current running through it and we're, we're just going along a few knots of current and uh, one of the other divers found this octopus, big octopus, probably six to eight feet stretched out, just hanging out outside of its den. It was out hunting. And she started taking photos, and so I got in there and I started taking photos, and eventually she disappeared. And I was solo diving at the time, so I was just there by myself with this octopus. And I'm, I'm crouched down, I'm looking through my viewfinder at this octopus, and all of a sudden it just jets out of, out of the screen, and I'm like, oh crap, it's gonna run away. And so I backed away from the viewfinder of the camera, and I looked up, and all of a sudden this octopus is just totally latched onto me. He is all over me he's on my shoulder he's got a hold of my pony bottle uh, my arm and he's just constricting it was like a like a snake and I could feel the the pressure of him cutting off the blood flow in my arm and I'm like okay this is this isn't good I've got a big octopus on top of me and there's nobody around here to help me so I immediately started started swimming out in the open water so I'm up in the water column away from the bottom this octopus is just latching onto me and I went over to this octopus uh, <laughs> sorry, and I went over to uh, this other diver that had gone a fair ways up and I, I signaled to her buddy what, what was going on and I kind of look at her and I shrug my arms and I'm like like I don't know I don't know why but this just, he's angry he's not happy with me and uh, so she came over and she kind of she didn't know what to do so she sort of signaled to her buddy and her buddy came over and her buddy started kind of peeling off the tentacles and sort of shaking my arm trying to get him to, to let go and he just would not let go he was totally pissed off for some reason and so we eventually got him off. We came down to the bottom and by this time there was like seven or eight divers all crowding around me with their cameras in my face watching this octopus attack me. And uh, we got it off and I sort of took a step back and I, I at one point I had dumped my camera. I had lost my camera and I actually uh, scratched the dome port on my camera in this whole ordeal. And so I got my camera back and I started taking photos of this thing and I realized that he was missing three of his tentacles. Something like a seal or a sea lion had come along and chomped off three of his seal, three of his tentacles and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So this thing had been underwater. A mammal had come down and chomped off three of its tentacles. So I kind of went on that uh, that theory and all the divers started calling him Stubby the Pentapus. And uh, I got back into Victoria and I started talking to some other divers here and uh, one of them suggested to me that uh, it was sort of an old fisherman's tale that if you cut off three of an octopus's tentacles that the octopus will continue to live and then the fishermen can use those tentacles to bait halibut with. Halibut really like octopus. So I think that's probably what happened was uh, somebody had caught this octopus, dragged it up on their boat, chopped off three of its arms and thrown it back in the water.